I started out just being a uh, labor, just doing odd things around the district. And then finally they had a need for someone to do their boiler repair. And so having welded a lot of my life, they asked if I could do that. I told them I could. So that's what I mainly did. And then all the rest of it was mainly welding repairs and handicap ramps, and repairing beams that had fallen in over at the Spanish Fork High School. I did, that's what I did when I first started. But I also, I, the only time I did custodial was when uh, one of the custodians had to take off sick or something and they needed somebody to fill in. If you're going to go into welding, do it well. I just started out, didn't go with any schooling other than I just took a welding class up at Utah State. And uh, I only did that to kind of help my grades. <laughs> but uh, I would say go to school and learn all the aspects of welding. I had to learn it the hard way, the slow way, experience. I had a good supervisor who took a liking to me, I think, and he just kind of watched over me and asked me if I thought I could fill the position that he needed as a boiler repairman, and so he we did that. It worked out for both of us. We were building uh, elevated tanks. We'd do the legs on a, like these big water towers, like out in the uh, central part of the United States, where they have mountains, so they have to elevate their water, pump it up there, and then they run it out to the cities. Anyway, uh, we was doing one of those legs, and I'd crawled up in about, oh, probably 20 feet, I guess. And that was a 14 inch, so I didn't have any room. I couldn't use my hood. So I had to put my cutting goggles on, then put my welding lens in my cutting goggles, and then wrap my face so I didn't get burned with the welding flashes, and go up in there, and they had what they called a uh, plate that went on the end of that. Anyway, back in there, it was in the winter, and I had on a heavy coat, a pair of coveralls, and I forget, sweatshirt, something else, but anyway, I caught on fire in there. And I'd taken an air hose up in there to try to help because it was dead end, trying to blow the smoke out so I didn't breathe so much smoke. Caught on fire and I couldn't get my hands down because it was right on my chest. And I couldn't get my hands down to put that out. And so here I was with the air hose furnishing air for the fire. <laughs> anyway, made it out of there doing that. Every 